Okay, this is going to be a demonstration on texturing in Flash, 2D texturing. So go ahead and open your browser and go to the website. This is allfreebackgrounds.com. It's all royalty free. And this is cgtextures.com. And all you got to do for this website is uh, right where it says log out, it'll say free membership. You enter your email, create a password, and you're all set to go. Um, it's always important when you're using things on the internet to check their licensing agreement. So this is CG Textures licensing agreement. And what it says for the most part is you, um, you can use their textures, but you cannot use them for any type of redistribution or uh, resale so um, keep in mind and definitely take a look at the licensing agreement if you are to use this website I'm gonna go ahead and just browse through and find something I like something that can be tiled easily as well which is um, critical for texturing so I'm just gonna browse through and I'm gonna, as you notice all these say set tiled huge which means that image is um, tileable and then they have other images of the um, of the bricks but this is the one that is tileable so as you can see tiled uh, highlighted tiled which I just unhighlighted let's go ahead and click on it save as uh, locate where you want to save it to. I'm going to put it under a folder called textures. It's always good to keep your file organization really neat so when you want to go back and reuse it or um, anything for any other projects you may have it's always good to be able to locate it quickly and easily. So I've got one set for a brick wall. Bricks are always usually um, common for tiles and this website has a ton of tileable imagery so you can pretty much find whatever you need as long as it says set tiled you're you're all set on that. Um, these are just some walls this is a, a damaged concrete wall so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one so just click the first one and I'm gonna click on the small size and save as rename it It's always good to keep your files named and in proper folders to uh, for ease of access. It can be a headache sometimes if you have a texture or anything that you really need or really liked or really want to use and you can't find it. So it's always good to keep things organized. Uh, these are fabric textures. So I'm going to just click camouflage and I'm going to go ahead and click hit save as go ahead and rename it save so now I've got a few textures that I like and I'll just go ahead and show you how to um, pull something off of this website so you want to use this particular brick wall you just want to go ahead and right click on the tileable image and then save picture as rename it and then I'm just going to hit cancel because I already have a brick wall that I would like to use so let's go ahead and get into flash go file and import these images into your library this will take a minute preparing to import and 
there we go. So, we're going to go ahead, locate the folder, and you can control click all of these and import them all at the same time and just click open after you selected them all. And as you can see, they're in your library. Now go ahead and grab a shape tool. I'm going to use a rectangle, the rectangle tool. And now I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool. I'm going to go into the fill color. And then right next to the gradients, you'll be able to see your textures that you just imported to the library. Then just go ahead and fill your shape. Just click on it, and it will uh, bring in the textures from the library, as long as you click it in the fill color, of course. And then grab the gradient transform tool, and you'll be able to resize it. And as you can see, it's tiled all the way through. Let's zoom in and I'll, you'll get a closer look and see how many times it can tile. It, it It's infinitely tiled, so um, there you go, we're zoomed at 800%. So now we're just going to go ahead and resize it to something more visible. And then you can rotate it. And you can adjust all these to whatever shape that you need to fill. And you can make it longer, skew it. Uh, skew it any way you like and then you can make it uh, slimmer, wider, taller, shorter and just get it to how you feel you want your texture to be presented. Go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and make a new shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, grab the transform tool, free transform tool, and then select my layer, and then rotate it any way you see fit. So you can rotate the shape as well as uh, distorting your texture within the fill color. So go ahead and we're going to grab the next one. And I don't think it quite got it because I had, that is my screen capture um, I'm using to record this. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. Go ahead and select it. And there you got your camouflage. It's always good to grab the tool you're using. So in this case, we're grabbing the paint bucket tool. Grab the paint bucket tool before you change your color. Um, it's just a more effective way, and you'll see in a minute why you'd want to do that. So you can go ahead and start distorting it within your resized, reshaped, repositioned rectangle and skew it and this is all done with the gradient transform tool anything to, uh, done with the texture is with the gradient transform tool so I'm gonna undo that shape I just did to put it on a new layer so you want to keep everything on separate layers grab your shape tool create whatever shape you like in this case I did a so a rectangle so I'm gonna grab my free transform tool select the layer and just rotate it a little bit, reposition it and as you can see there my color and it didn't work quite right And you can find all your textures, once again, right next to the uh, linear um, gradients, which is on the bottom right corner, or bottom left corner, so it'll be right next to it, to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my last image or texture, fill it in within the shape with the paint bucket tool, grab the gradient transform tool, and this one's a little, rather large, so I'm going to have to zoom out. 
resize it. And then I'm going to fit back into window. And I'm just going to go ahead and play around it with it with the gradient transform tool. This is great for all types of things. You can create buildings, you can use uh, the camouflage for fabric if you have a, a character with, um, I don't know, ca wearing camouflage, you have a jungle scene or something. So you can skew it and then rotate it and uh, pretty much anything you need to do within the two-dimensional space there. And then you can always change the center point and it'll remain tiled as well all throughout. So, make it a little smaller, and as you can see, the whole thing is textured within, uh, within that shape, inside that shape. And that's about it on 2D texturing, and hope this was helpful.